entire time. And as you're pulling back on your elbow, make sure that we're not doing a curl, but instead act like you have a string attached to your elbow, and you're pulling back on that string. All the way up, all the way down. Good full range of motion. And when you're done on one side. At an angle and keep my elbows fairly tucked in to the sides. I find that this is a lot more comfortable on the wrist joints because you're not locked into the rigid movement or the rigid position that you are when you're using a barbell. So again, that's why I prefer to hold the dumbbells on a slight angle here and I find that it really works great. It's good. Your elbows back. This is the way your back should look. It's hard to tell, but pull your elbows back so you're squeezing your back. If not, you're doing this. Next exercise. Now to ramp this up to another level, make it more advanced, what we're going to do is we're going to raise up and then we're going to drop down. So when we drop down, we're going to shift our chest forward, put our weight over this leg so that we can really work these quads here. And then as we come up, we're going to lift up and then go up to the toe. So we're like we're simulating the jump. Now to ramp it up. Your chest down, keeping your shoulders back because as you start to fatigue, as the triceps start to tire, you will see and notice your shoulders creep forward and you end up trying to press that movement down with your shoulders and your chest, which is something you don't want to do. It's not the end of the world if it starts to happen. Nice and controlled, don't pull your neck in towards your chest because that's not good for your neck. You just want to come up towards the sky, look up at the ceiling. And crunch up, feel those abs contract at the top. Now, for starters, you can try two sets of 10 to 15 repetitions.